What's going on YouTube? It's Giga here bringing you some more Series 12 Wi-Fi battles with live commentary. We are once again using this really fun uh, Palkia Sogaleo team built by Lintimon that is just uh, a very fun cat flavored team. Uh, we unfortunately did not have the record I would have liked yesterday, so we're, we're hoping to change that today. Uh, looking at my opponent's first team, it is Groudon Calyrex, it is Incineroar, Gastrodon, um, Charizard, Thunderous, uh, Groudon, and Calyrex. And so there's a, there's a lot of really scary things here. Um, it is hard, I feel like, to justify Solgaleo, but I think Solgaleo is really necessary here. Um, I really like Palkia and Tay as a lead. Um, and I think Umbreon and then Leafeon in the back, right? Solgaleo, unfortunately, it, we're just not getting matches for it. Um, Meowstic, as much as I love, uh, probably better options. Um, having the Scarf on Entei is also really huge against um, Thunderous, right? Being able to... Uh, potentially burn it right off the bat, uh, I think it is, is something we really need. Also, Stone Edge crit, um, in some cases, should be enough to, to one-shot um, a max Charizard, so I'm um, hopeful for that. Also, yeah, j just the immediate amount of burn pressure. Um, Leafeon, I think, is important to have in the back in the event that they do burn Gastrodon, right? We're not free to um, click Max Warmwind, I mean, not Max Warmwind, Max Geyser, uh, which is something we have to be wary of with Palkia, but we do have access to things like Max Dragon, which can still um, put on just a, a huge amount of pressure. And so I do expect to see probably Charizard Groudon, um, as we are going to see Thunderous Calyrex. So uh, a little bit different than what I was expecting, for sure. Um, we are going to be able to bring out uh, Palkia, though, and Entei, and I think if we can burn, if we can burn the Thunderous, right, we can... Um, I think put ourselves in a really good spot. The other question though is, do we need, do we care about the Thunderous? Um, or is it more beneficial just to go after the Calyrex? Um, I'm gonna go for a Max Quake into the Calyrex as well as go for um, a Sacred Fire onto this Thunderous. If we can burn it and get a, a special defense boost up versus this Calyrex, I think we're just in an incredible spot. Um, and then I think what we can do even is then pivot out uh, Entei into, uh, into Umbreon the subsequent turn. Right to, to better deal with this Calyrex, and so I think that this is a, a pretty fine position. Umbreon would have been fine on lead, right, just being able to uh, threaten with Snarl as well as Foul Play, and we are going to see uh, that very fairly obvious um, Max. We have been 0 for, I think, 4 with Sacred Fire Burns, um, and so I'm really, really hoping uh, in this moment to change that because, you know, it would be really nice. Um, but yeah, we should, with Palkia, hopefully take... Um, a potential double up very comfortably. Uh, we could see a max darkness come out, which is uh, never fun, but I'm hoping with that, that good amount of HP investment, we are uh, able to, to survive fairly comfortably. Um, also, if you're going for a max darkness, it means you're not going for um, a max airstream, and that and that also can uh, really put us in a good position. So overall, I, I really need to get this burn um, onto the Sundress. We have ha not had good luck at all, or we're gonna miss. Um, which is awesome, right? Uh, that's that's a great start. Um, we love to see that. Just a straight up miss. Uh, so we've gotten everything but the burn. So I, I definitely uh, I jinxed myself there. So make sure to subscribe for me jinxing myself. Uh, we are working our way towards um, a billion subscribers and uh, every little bit counts, right? And so we are uh, going to be able to get off um, at least one hit it looks like Palkia should be, it's not ideal. Um, I think what I have to do is I have to geyser into you and I have to go for um, a Sacred Fire onto the Calyrex, right? We need to, to use the speed to our advantage. We could see, uh, the Cal we're gonna see the Calyrex actually withdraw. This could be into potentially a Groudon. Um, it is gonna be into Charizard, so uh, not good for us. We are gonna luckily hit the Sacred Fire, you know, we, we love to see that. Um, and it does get a, a solid amount of damage on, and we are going to see the Airstream come out uh, into the Entei. So a little bit unfortunate that they are going to get that knockout, but we are going to uh, be able to set up terrain and we can bring out um, our Umbreon, right? We can bring out Umbreon and, and threaten foul plays. Um, yeah, we are we are really having great luck with, with Sacred Fire. Um, this game would have been so much different. Uh, we are going to be able, perfect, to, to get a, a very solid chunk um, onto this Thunderous, right? And, and so now, um, oh, yeah, we have to bring out Umbreon here. Um, there is the rain up. We need to, I think we have to geyser. Um, okay, so I expect potentially a switch out from um, Umbreon into, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Wormwind this slot, 
calling a grad on switch uh, and then going for a foul play onto the thunderous and hoping that plus one is enough i do expect um a switch okay we're gonna see no switch out uh this is okay this is fine i'm um, going onto the umbreon umbreon takes that well uh we will be able to get thunderous to plus two i just need to hope uh that plus two is enough we're probably going to take a hurricane on uh palkia or yeah we're gonna see the the hurricane come out onto the umbreon um umbreon is able to uh survive we do get confused so we are really uh not getting a lot of luck on our side here uh warm wind going to come out we need we need to hit uh what's it called we need to hit this this foul play um that is uh just non-negotiable at this point um we needed to we also needed to ko so so like two little things um please please umbreon please thank you please knock out um that is not a knockout <sighs> all right we need grout okay so we need groudon to come out we're gonna see okay so groudon coming out here is is perfect um we have leafeon in the back leafeon can uh threaten knockouts um onto both of these oh that uh thunders has has brick break um probably assault vest so a little bit tricky here uh what we can do okay so what we can do no that doesn't help us uh i think we just have to accept that we're gonna lose um both of our pokemon this turn i'm gonna go for a moonlight uh we should see a brick break as well as a precipice blades precipice blades could miss uh it's not going to or that uh brick break is not going to miss so a little bit unfortunate there imagine if we had hit sacred fire um spatial rend okay that i should have figured that we were faster um that's uh very relevant um precipice blades going to come out it is going to connect uh and ko palkia leafeon is very bulky So what I have to do is I have to hope my opponent doesn't realize that Leafeon is going to outspeed their Calyrex. Because if we can KO their Calyrex, uh, we can attack into the Groudon the subsequent turn. We might want to go for um, a Yawn if we're worried about that. Um, but I think uh, a Leaf Blade into the Calyrex is fine. And just like I said, hope they don't know about Chlorophyll. Um, yeah, if they, I mean, if they protect Calyrex, they protect Calyrex. Um, there's not much we can do, but I think... Uh, we potentially are in a good spot. We just need to, to set up correctly. Um, they could go for like a Will-O-Wisp, right? Trying to... Um... Okay, so. Good news. We took that very well. Um, we can go for another Leaf Blade into this Calyrex. Um, I'm hoping that Rock Slide is their best source of damage, uh, into me. That is also really scary, because that suggests to me you might have something like a Sword Stance. Um, so, we have to watch out for that. I'm very sad that they called that right. Um, they still don't know that my Leafeon is faster than their Calyrex. I assume they know about Chlorophyll, given the fact that they protected. Um, we are going to be able to fire off the Leaf Blade. I very much am just expecting to see some type of uh, fire attack. Um, fire Punch coming out. This could be Citrus Groudon. We are going to see the Swords Dance. So that's um, a little scary for sure. I think even still, we should be able to live um, a another hit. Um, so they did, what, four... They did 44, doubled 88. Uh, yeah, we should be able to, to take a hit. Um, I'm going to go for a, a Leaf Blade here. We're going to see the Protect. So they're trying to stall out the Sun, which is smart. Um, let's see here. How many turns of Sun are left? This is the last turn of Sun. So I'm going to actually play um, a little risky. I'm going to go for a Yawn here uh, and then go for a Protect. So that way we can try and get um, hits. If we need a second one, we have that chance. Um, we're going to see the Rock Slide come out. Like I said, we should be able to take this. Um, perfect. We are going to survive. Uh, we can go for a Protect here. Um, yeah, so let's let's go for the Protect. 
Uh, we want this Groudon to be asleep. We just want to get uh, things in our favor, right? They could go for a Sword Stance and be a little bit greedy, which, you know, I wouldn't punish them for. Um, we're going to see in sec just the, the straight Rock Slide. I think they're, they're saying, hey, um, you might just get flinched, but but well, let's see here. Uh, so let's fire off this Leaf Blade onto this Groudon, hoping for a knockout. Uh, we know that they're guaranteed to be asleep this turn. This is the scary part, right? Like we are seeing uh, that they're faster, but this is stab super effective with Rose Incense. Yeah, so we do need, um, unfortunately, another hit. Um, we are going to see the Citrus Berry proc. So this is going to uh, very much depend on sleep turns. Um, if we get uh, two turns of sleep, we win. If they wake up, um, which they probably are given their, their luck this whole battle, um, then they do take it. So we are going to... Okay, perfect. Nice. They are going to stay asleep. Um, and we will be able to to fire off this Leaf Blade, which should be enough for the KO. Uh, perfect. Um, so overall, that was a really scary game. Um, the Sacred Fire miss at the beginning was um, just incredibly detrimental for a lot of reasons. Um, I think the fact that we were able to, to bring it back uh, says a lot, right? Like, we got into that position where um, their Thunderous was at plus two and was, like, super fast. So, like, that was also scary. So... Um, a really, really tricky game to pull back from, but I am uh, really glad we were able to pull it back, and I'm really glad that Leafeon was also able to uh, put in some work. So overall, uh, a really solid first game, and let's just keep rocking and rolling and move to the next one. All right, battle number two, and it is Thunderous again. It is Calyrex, Zacian, Thunderous, Landorus, Rotom, uh, Heat with a Gastrodon. So once again, I think uh, Entei is going to be huge here. Um, Entei Palkia, I think, is big. Um, I do like Umbreon, and then... Leafeon, not that much this time. Uh, Meowstic offers a lot. Solgale yeah, Solgaleo just is not... <sighs> I'm going to bring Meowstic in the back. Um, I'm hoping to redeem ourselves this time with a Sacred Fire hit and a burn. Um, if we miss or don't get it again, I will probably cry. Um, not really, but uh, it will be very sad. We can try and just recreate that, that first uh, turn forward state. Um, and I think that that should hopefully put us in a good position. We are pretty passive in our, our team, which is important to note, but I don't think it's the end of the world. But yeah, let's, let's kind of see, um, how this plays out. I think that, like I said, this is, um, probably our best bet. I do expect a similar lead. Uh, if it's Landorus, right, we can go for the same thing and just trying to get a burn. I think, um, getting a burn on anything is going to be huge. Um, as we will see Calor Exhaustion. So... So this is a, a, a tricky spot, right? Um, you probably expect me to be Sash. So um, there's like a question of who do I target? Um, I think what I want to do though, is I want to fire off um, a Sacred Fire. I think a Sacred Fire into the, the Zacian slot um, is safe, right? So I just, nope, I want to click uh, Sacred Fire here. And then I want to go for, I like Max Kaiser. Max Quake, probably. I'm going to go for a Quake into the Palkia. Uh, I mean, uh, into the Calyrex, right? There is um, the idea that I, I go for a Quake into the Zacian, so we could see a switch up there. Um, there are a lot of options, especially uh, with Entei being Scarf, right? Like, it's a question of, I have the option to attack into both. Who am I going to do it into? Uh, we could see a, a, a double protect, right? Just trying to uh, scout out uh, what's going to happen. If that's the case, I can uh, pivot and switch out um, what is going where. But the, the Sacred Fire... Um, I think is just going to be really, really detrimental overall. I could have gone for a Wormwind. Um, I think Wormwind would have also been really safe, right? Trying to trying to lower some attack. We are seeing no Thunderous on lead, which uh, suggests to me you might not have it, which like obviously I would think is really nice. Um, so I think that this is a, a fine position. Uh, no max from Calyrex means that we are guaranteed damage onto it uh, this turn. So now is a question of what is going to protect and what is going to... Um, attack and we are going to see no protects coming out so the sacred fire going to finally hit um please get the burn we are zero for five with burns um ente going to we're going to see the behemoth blade come out this should ko my ente um so we love to see that as we will be able to fire off um a big max quake onto this uh calyrex um Get some big damage there. I think we can bring out Umbreon. Uh, no, we can bring out Meowstic. Let's bring out Meowstic. Uh, Cal okay, I'll take that. Okay, yeah, wait. We can bring out Meowstic. Um, Meowstic has access to Sucker Punch. Uh, we can KO the Calyrex at this range. So I'm fine to to bring it out. Um, 
right? I think it's going to be really important here. We can go for a blade, um, or not a blade, a quake. Uh, let's go for a geyser onto the, the Zacian. Um, so I'm going to go for a sucker punch onto you, and then I'm going to go for um, a geyser onto this Zacian. That way, whatever you uh, want to bring out is going to take a lot from uh, a geyser. If they have gas, please don't have gas on. Please don't be gas on. Um, You know, I can't even complain. My opponent made a very good call, and we respect that. Um, probably what, a Zacian comes out here. We do have Spatial Ren, so that's nice. All right, um, what are they gonna bring out? If it's Landorus, that's good. Um, perfect, okay, it's gonna be Landorus. Uh, Landorus is fine with me. Um, because of the fact that we have access to charm. So we can start charming, um, yeah, we can go for, um, a charm onto, uh, the Landorus and then go for a max Wormwind, uh, onto this, this Gastrodon, right? Just trying to, trying to get as much damage as possible. We can also then, um, go for Umbreon in the late game, which does have access to Taunt. So, uh, if we can get it down to a, a Gastrodon Umbreon end game, I think we should win that using a combination of Taunt and Moonlight, um, as well as Snarl, right, being able to, to drop that special attack. Um, also, Umbreon is faster. We are going to see uh, the Landorus Max, but like I said, having access to, to Charm, I think is going to uh, really help with that, right? Like being able to immediately uh, get that Landorus down to minus two, and then if we can get off, oh! Interesting. It makes sense. We're gonna see the max guard come here. Um, so we are gonna get the Landorus down to minus two. Um, we're gonna see the earthquake. Fine. Um, Palkia takes a little bit. We see the life orb reveal on the Landorus. Um, I would like to go for a light screen. Let's get a light screen up. Um, light screen here. And then I want to switch out into uh, Umbreon. That way we can start going for Snarls um, and, and chip away at this Gastron. If it's leftovers, that's a little bit scary. Um, we don't know that. But Palkia, I think, is, is still in a good spot. Um, Right, it has access to Spatial Rend. We are going to see the Rock Slide. It is going to miss Umbreon, which is nice. Uh, Meowstic going to take a, a little bit of damage, damage there. Uh, so we're really seeing the, the impact of that charm. Um, we're going to see the Quake come out. This could go into uh, Umbreon. It's going to go into Umbreon. Umbreon going to take a little bit more than I would have liked, in all honesty. Um, I think we're fine to go for another charm as well as go for... Um, so let's go for a charm here. Just trying to, to neutralize the slot really as much as possible uh, and go for a snarl. I think snarl is going to be important here. Just trying to trying to neutralize, like I said, um, this this uh, um, yeah, this gastrodon as much as possible. Uh, we do have access to Palkia in the end game as well as recovery. So like that, I think should be really helpful. Uh, their their Landorus is life orb, so we can um, really start chipping away at it. We're going to see the fly. Fly is totally fine with me. Uh, the snarl going to come out here as long as it hits. Perfect. We're going to get Chip onto this Gastrodon. Uh, and more importantly, we're going to see if the Gastrodon has access to uh, to leftovers, right? And that's going to really impact the end game. Meowstic going to take pretty much no damage. Um, we can... I want to preserve Meowstic. Um, I need to preserve Palkia more. So it is going to be leftovers. So that's a, a little bit of a, a tricky spot, right? Um, the Gastrodon's max is going to end. I do want to go for a Charm. I mean, not a charm, a taunt, and then I'm going to go for a, a sucker punch onto the Gastron in case it goes for an attack, uh, and I want to taunt it as well. My thought process is I, I can't let it start yawning. Um, it's going to fail, so that really suggests to me you're going for a, um, a taunt. Uh, I mean, a, not a taunt, a yawn. Uh, Meowstic is going to survive, which is really crucial for us. 
Um, as we are going to get the taunt off, so this really suggests to me you're going to be trying to yawn my Umbreon. Um, right, perfect. We are going to see the yawn come out. Uh, so I'm fine to go for a Sucker Punch onto this Landorus, um, as well as go for a Moonlight with the Umbreon. We still have to worry, right? They do have Zacian in the back. Um, we're going to see the Sucker Punch doing a whopping <laughs> amount of damage. Um, I think it's smart to go for uh, the Rock Slide here as uh, we are going to lose Meowstic, but um, we should be still in really good shape, right? And this Landorus is getting low. Um, the Moonlight going to come out. We can go for a Snarl, right? Um, we can go for a Snarl uh, as well as go for a Spatial Rend onto uh, this Gastrodon to, to really start a new, sort of neutralize what it can do. Um, the Skull is going to come out here, right? We're seeing uh, not much damage at all. Unfortunate. They do get a burn. You know what would have been really nice? A burn with Sacred Fire. Um, full Shade right now. Uh, so we can bring up Palkia here. So I want a Spatial Rend. Mm, okay, let's think about this. I'm going to go for a Spatial Rend here, uh, as well as go for a Snarl. Right, I think this is the best bet. They could switch out into Zacian. They're not going to. I think that that's fine. Um, they're just trying to go for uh, Rock Slide flinches. Um, and so Landorus really sort of uh, doing the most here. We're going to miss another 95% accurate move. Um, we love that. So Gastron here going to, going to be able to um, fire off an attack. Uh, we have Inner Focus, so that's really great. That is going to come into the Palkia, which should have gotten a bunch of chip onto this Gastrodon. Uh, they're also going to get a crit. So, you know, um, we're, re we're really loving our luck right now. Um, especially with the Snarl. Uh, the Taunt is going to end, so I need to go for a Protect here. Um, we would have been in such a better spot. Uh, I need to... Oh! Uh... I need to foul play into the Gastrodon. I need damage onto this thing. I don't think Umbreon can win. Unfortunately, the the 2v1 between Landorus and Zacian. Um, we are going to see the, the Gastrodon go for Protect here, right? You're just trying to, to have your uh, Landorus do damage. Um, God, my, my luck right now is uh, not good. Perfect. Um, foul play going to do nothing. What do I do here? I think you just go for a rock slide. Um, I have to go for a spatial rend again. Um, I'm going to go for a moonlight here. Yeah, because there's Zashid in the back. It doesn't matter. The rock slide going to come out. Uh, it's going to KO Palkia. Um, do nothing into Umbreon. Umbreon can at least recover up a little bit. Um, so here's the here's the end game, okay? Um, we can, in theory, win the one v one versus Gastrodon because we are burned, right? Um, they're going to fire up a Scald. It's going to do more now. Um, another critical hit, which is great. Uh, so I have to recover again. This is awesome. Um, go for the moonlight here. This is a free switch in into Zacian. Um, we're going to see the rock slide. Luckily, you cannot flinch me. So that is that is really nice. Um, this Landorus is almost gone. So I want to try and get a Snarl off. Uh, I need... Okay, I need to be at be at as much HP as possible. Um, so I'm going to go for another Moonlight because I need to survive a hit from Zacian to be able to fire off... Um, what's it called? I need to be able to fire off a Foul Play uh, and survive the attack. So, um, okay, you are going to faint. We are going to recover. So like I said, if we can survive... Okay, if we can survive the Behemoth Blade and the Scald to get a knockout onto um, the Zacian... I think we have a chance. We're going to see the Earth Power come out. Uh, them recognizing they need to go for the special defense drops. Um, we're super low right now. I don't know how much defense do we have. Um, we have a good amount of defense. 
I like I said, if we can survive, Sashin is so low. Ugh. That burn would have been huge. Um, we okay, so we have to we have to foul play into the Zashian. This is our only hope. We're, we've seen recover and protect. I mean, we've seen protect on gas. Smart. Um, yeah, and I'm guessing with the extra earth power chip, they're gonna put me in range um, of a behemoth blade. Um, yeah, I'm. Sh yeah, that should be. Uh, more than enough for the Behemoth Blade. They could play rough and miss. Or they could... No, they're just going to... Okay, they have close combat too. Um, so overall, uh, really frustrating for sure. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I just... It is what it is. Luck is part of the game. Let's just, you know, let's just keep rocking and rolling and play one more. All right, last battle of the day, and it is versus Lily, and it is hyper offense. It is Calyrex, Kyogre, with Regieleki, Charizard, Whimsicott, and um, Clefairy. Uh, la, 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 la. So Umbreon is good here. Um, Umbreon, honestly, Umbreon Meowstic is fine in my book. It's really passive, um, but this entire team is special attackers. So being able to fire off Snarls is a really good deal. Um, I think we definitely need Palkia, and then... We can bring Leafy on. Um, I don't see it being relevant. That Charizard does have, or that Whimsicott has Sunny Day. Um, so I think being able to immediately get up a light screen though is going to help us um, and go for things like Yawn, I think is also going to be uh, crucial. But um, hoping hoping for no luck um, in my opponent's favor, I would I would appreciate some, like a 50% chance to burn, um, especially having uh, played six Sacred Fires and gotten none of them. You know, that, that would be nice. Um, Sorry, I try not to complain a lot, um, but it was just it was just a little frustrating um, in that last battle, and you know, like that's part of it. Like adjusting adjusting for tilt um, is just it's part of the game. Um, and normally I'm better than it better than it right now, but oh well. Um, we still we still have one more game. We still have a chance to to pull through. Um, and yeah, so we'll, we'll we'll see. Luckily, I do know. Uh, the team so that that really helps um, and I think like I said if we can get off like a, a light screen and a snarl right that puts us uh, in such a strong position uh, right off the bat especially because then we can bring up Palkia. We are gonna see Calyrex Regieleki so this is this is good right um, it is physical Regieleki um, so we know that we know that you're probably gonna go for max darkness uh, we do have access to snarl which is really big we have Palkia in the back um, and physical Regieleki like doesn't do much damage so that's a, a really nice sort of thing. Uh, I'm going to go immediately for that Snarl, and I'm going to go for um, a Light Screen. We know that um, the Calyrex is Specs, so that can be really helpful. Uh, if you target down into Meowstic, I mean not into Meowstic, into um, Umbreon, that means that we can get a, a uh, T-Wave off on the Calyrex, which can put us in a great position. We're going to see the, the Calyrex withdraw, and it's going to be Clefairy. So Clefairy, um, not ideal, for sure. Um, we are going to see the Regieleki Max. That is okay. We do have access to Taunt on the Umbreon, um, and so that can, can really help us out. Uh, we can fire off a Thunder Wave as well. Uh, you are also committing your Max now, which is um, helpful. Uh, we can we could have charmed the, the Regieleki, in all honesty, and gone for a Snarl. I think that that would have been fine as well. Um, probably going to see a lightning come out into um, the Umbreon, which uh, I think is not the end of the world. We do want to preserve the Umbreon, right? We are going to see, yep, that, that lightning. It should do uh, a lot more than I would have liked, um, in all honesty. So that is uh, unfortunate there. Um, I'm going to, sw I want to switch out. I need to switch out into Leafeon. Um, the Snarl going to come out, do absolutely nothing. Uh, we are seeing no Life Orb, though, on the Regieleki, so that means it could be... Um, Focus Sash, so having broken that Sash is really nice. I uh, definitely want to bring out Leafy on here. Um, and then I would like to go for the Thunder... Nope, I would like to go for the Thunder Wave onto uh, this Clefairy. We're not going to get it... Or, I mean, what? Getting it is nice because that means we do have the chance of... Um, what's it called? Surviving a hit um, and firing off um, 
a Leaf Blade onto this, this Regilecki. Uh, we need to just try and preserve as much as we can. Yeah, we are going to see the very obvious uh, follow me, which is annoying. Uh, we should see probably another Lightning come out. As T-Wave, T-Wave is really big here, right? Um, it, it means that uh, there is a chance that your follow me doesn't work, which we want to take. Uh, Lightning coming out into the Leafeon, we should hopefully take that well. Um, not as well as I would have liked, I'm going to be real honest. Um, I think going for a, a Protect here is uh, what I want to do. And then uh, I'm going to click Charm onto the Regieleki. Like I said, there is a chance that the Clefairy gets paralyzed. Um, and so... Perfect. Okay, so we are going to see the Helping Hand come out. Um, we are going to fire off a Protect. I'm hoping, like I said, that this is this should be Physical Aleki. Um, Charm going to come out here, which is really nice. Getting the uh, the Super Attack Drop onto this this Physical Boy. Um, as yeah, we are going to see the Airstream come out uh, onto Leafeon. Leafeon going to take that super super well as a result um, of the Charm coming out, uh, doing more than than neutralizing that. Um, what's it called? That that boost um we are also still preserving the sash on our um meow stick which is really nice i want to go for a leaf blade um as well as go for another charm we're probably going to see a uh follow me and some sort of attack coming out for the regilecki it could be insurance um but you are at minus two so that's that's a, a really big deal um this is a scary chance for calyrex to come out right like we could see um that happen but we do have access to palkia in the back and i think that that um, should help us as well as the fact that Umbreon is, is still there too and right Umbreon can uh, go for things like a Snarl and ignore redirection. We are going to see the, the Regieleki withdraw. This should be into Calyrex. Uh, that makes the most sense. Um, hopeful for a Paralysis so we can get uh, we can break any sort of Sash or probably Specs. We are going to see the, the very obvious uh, follow me. The issue right now is the fact that um, Meowstic uh, has no way of damaging a Clefairy going for follow me. Um, we still have the Sash intact. So that's actually a big... Wow. Um, I will... I mean, thank you. Um, nope. I'm going to play a game and called... And that game is called Clefairy is going to uh, be paralyzed this turn so I can paralyze your Calyrex. I would like to be right. Um, I was wrong, so, you know, life is life. Um, we are going to see this. Okay, this is... I need, I need luck. I need this Clefairy to get paralyzed next turn. Um, that's just the, that's just the way it is. I need to get a Paralysis. I need a Paralysis on this Calyrex. I need Clefairy to be paralyzed. I need Leafeon uh, to KO. Yeah, I, I'm putting all of my eggs um, in the Luck God basket. I just have no choice um, because a plus two Calyrex is going to sweep my team. I need, I just, like, I've been so unlucky. We're going to see the Clefairy withdraw. Okay, so, okay, that I can work with. Um, we're going to get the Thunder Wave perfect into the Calyrex. That's huge. I need uh, Leafeon to outspeed this Calyrex. Um, we are going to outspeed. That's awesome. Leaf Blade onto the Regieleki. Not enough for a KO. Um, that's really frustrating. Um, we have... Okay, so we at least have a Paralysis um, on this Calyrex, which is huge. Uh, it does mean that Calyrex uh, is at plus two, but... Okay, okay. Uh, is this... Is this... Assault Vest Regieleki with Electro Web. That is my question. Uh, we've seen no Sash. We've seen no Protect. Um, if that is the case... If that is the case, I don't think that there's anything we can do. Um, I need to Earth... I need to Max Quake. And I need to Moonlight? Do I Max Quake or do I Geyser? I think I need to max Quake here, and I need to Moonlight. Uh, I need to get Umbreon just healthy enough to survive. Um, if they have Electro Ebb, like I said, we can't stop that. Um, Calyrex will, will pick up the double. Um, 
that you know that crit really did absolutely nothing on Clefairy. Uh, so thanks for that. Uh, do, 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 do. Moment of truth. It is Electro. Okay, so yeah, we we can't come back from this. Um, yeah, because you're I, uh, pr paralysis. Okay, paralysis. Nope, no paralysis. Um, Palkia is gonna live. It's not gonna matter because we are so low. Um, unless, yeah, I mean, if we crit, if we crit our quake, we still have to survive a bunch of hits. Um, and it's not gonna, yeah, it's not gonna KO. Um, so, I mean, it is unfortunate. Um, we're life orb too, so it, it, we're just gonna get wrecked. Um, I'm gonna go for a quake. You could get paralyzed. Miss. You could miss electroweb. Get paralyzed. Um, we're just not even gonna see that. We're gonna see the wild charge come out, and so uh, that is going to be um, enough for the win. So, really, it's just it's it's really unfortunate. Um, I'm super bummed that we couldn't really give this team what it deserved, um, and a big part of that was luck and. and uh, we got unlucky the the first round, right? With the with the sludge bomb crit, um, we got unlucky this time, and and that's I don't want to see this team. I know what this team is. Uh, definitely though, make sure to check out Linty Mon. He has piloted this team much better than I can. Uh, make sure to support him. Uh, we will be doing some cool stuff coming up, so look out for that. And with that, um, until next time, I hope all of you are wonderful, and I'll see you then.